Hey guys, welcome back to another video to Joe's Geeky Reviews. In this video, as you can tell from the thumbnail, we're going to go through the Masters of the Universe. I was going to go through the original Castle Grayskull first, made back in the 19, early 1980s. And yet, I know I'm a bit late to the game for the re-releases. The re-releases started to come out back in 2019. But I've only just recently started collecting these again. So in this video, I'm going to go through the re-release of Castle Grayskull. I am like a big kid in a toy shop when it comes down to these. So, but it came not so long ago. <laughs> Just look at the box art on this. Absolutely amazing. The detail on the actual castle itself and the images of all the figures that are set out to release when this was made available is absolutely fantastic. You've got He-Man and Skeletor there battling it out in front of the castle. You've got the special edition sorceress that actually comes with the castle itself. Then around the castle you've got Merman, Man at Arms fighting there. You've got Teela actually fighting Trapjaw. Beast Man with many faces. Battle Cat tackling Panthor. Stratos coming down, flying down. Zordak at the top of the castle. And in the corner. <clears throat> and in the corner you've got Evil in there with Triclops. With Skeletor's henchmen. Which by the way are coming this year, 2023. On the outer side of the box you've got Fisto. So when we get it out of the box, this is it. Now there is some minor assembly with stickers and stuff, but they actually are a really good take on the 1980s. It is quite easy to put together. There is lots of comparisons to the 80s version as well, with all the actual paint apps on here. So the only main difference is the drawbridge. This one is painted brown, the 80s version comes in the green, just the matte green colour. But it's just the detail of the actual skull itself from the front with the eyes as well. Round the back of it, again they've, um, they've airbrushed all in colours so now this, these thatched pieces have actually gone the dark brown colour. And I know this, this is quite faint, but there's like little white splatters over it. Not that many. So, but it looks as though someone's gone with like a, a toothbrush effect and splattered white, white paint across it all. To actually open it, you've got these little hooks. Back in the 80s, they were the big clamps that could easily break off. But these are actually just perfect. They just slide out and around so I'll come round the front now and just talk you around some bits and bobs one of the main differences is the weapons rack it still comes with the same type of weapons but it was an orange effect back in the 80s it now comes in the brown so this plastic weapons rack here came in a paper print back in the 80s. I thought I would download and print that off, just a bit of nostalgia to keep it in line still with the 80s. You've still got the lift that pulls up by a little gargoyle and you can hook it underneath. It's got still got your laser cannon. 
like it was back in the 80s the flags these little flags here underneath the ledges are now made of material like ribbon back in the day it was just stickers that used to hang from underneath and you've still got your trapdoor where as the throne you'll have the sorceress or whatever character on the throne and as you turn it inwards the trapdoor opens as well and then you've got your little computer little components there these were actually all printed card again if I just remove that throne I've printed the card bit off that was in the 80s and stuck that up there just for a bit of nostalgia but that was originally here on the 80s version but now they're all placed with the 3D plastic piece art there as well on the actual ledges on the middle and also the top side you've got the little pegs where you can actually fit the figures but this was the actual version of the sorceress that came with the grey skull they've all got poseable joints as well so arms legs at the knee, hands, head, so on and so forth, like a figure should be. <clears throat> but if I grab the sword, the power sword from the weapons rack, by using this is the only way you can get the actual door open. There's a little sword hole there in the door. Literally just push it in and it pops out. That's a new feature from that's different from the 80s version. And again, just push to lock. But I have been collecting all the vehicles that actually go with this as well. I'll do a review on these vehicles in another video. But this actually pops off here and underneath so it will also attach to the top of the castle on one of those ledges it will actually close over as well with that still attached which is quite a good feature of it but there you go there's my little cheeky review of the updated version of Castle Grayskull there is a lot of videos like this on YouTube as well. Some of them that I do subscribe to. One of the main ones is uh, Pixel Van. So I'll link his channel below. Go check him out. And I'll catch you on the next one.